Hello world, in the series of learning time and diagram of 8085 instruction, we are, we are in this part and till now we learned how to draw the time and diagram for the each machine cycle and also we have drawn the time and diagram for the LXI instruction. Today I would like to describe about the different machine cycle of the different instruction. So this will be the quite important because you are only you are already familiar with drawing time and diagram time and diagram but you have to recognize the machine cycle of the each time and diagram so so i will teach something i will teach about the sum of the instruction so let's start with this lda 2000 years at first we should recognize the how many bytes uh, we should know we should know the byte of the instruction that is how many bytes the instruction will cover? All the all the instruction will cover one byte, and this this two data will cover one byte. So in total, this this will occupy three byte. So in the memory, suppose this is the PC program counter, PC plus one, PC plus two. Here consists the upcode of this LDA. There is upcode and it consists 0 0 and 2 0 so this is the memory representation and the and the main tax of the mic of the processor is fetch decode and execute so at first we have to perform fetch and we have to decode and then we have to execute so at first let's fetch this upward and this 0 0 and this 2 0 so for that we have to perform memory read a memory read memory read but the memory read of the upward is considered as upward phase it consists of 40 state now we have to read this it will be of 3t state now we have to read this part it will be also 3d set now we have performed fetching of, of all the instructions and the decode part will come decode will will execute in this part because it consists of additional t state so decode will perform here now the time now it is the time to execute now let's understand what this instruction does it copies the value of the content of the 2000 and 2000 to the accumulator the square bracket denotes the content of the memory location 2000 now the 2000 memory location is already present in the processor that is we have already faced so we have already faced the 2000 address now we have to face the data from the 2000 suppose this is 2000 and here is some data now we have to face this data and uh, share the data to accumulator so we have again we have to perform memory read in this memory read we are reading the data of the 2000 location now after the reading this data the data will come in the processor accumulator is already present in the processor so the processor will assign the value of the data of the 2000 to the accumulator so by doing this our machine cycle ends so it is total 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 so it is a 13 t state mm -hmm. by this you understand how to perf how to know the machine cycle of the every instruction for example, let's take another STA 2000H. At first, we have to perform, you have to perform upcode phase, which is a 40 state, and second, you have to read this memory read, which is of 3T. Again, memory read for this 20 which is of 3d now the 2000 location is present is faced inside the processor and the tax of this 
instruction is to place the value of accumulator in the 2000 now we have the 2000 address inside the processor and accumulator is already inside the processor so the in the execution state what the processor will do is assign the value of the accumulator that is write the value of accumulator in the 2000 memory location so it consists of memory write which is also of 3D state so total 13D state let's take a simple example mbi b comma 25 ps at first opcode phase 40 state now memory read for 25 memory read the tax of this instruction is b gets 25 now b register is inside the processor and 25 is uh, inside the now 25 is fetched inside the processor from this instruction so both the value are in, inside the processor now the processor will perform the execute as execute itself that is it will assign the value of b inside the value of it will it will put the 25 inside the b register so there is no any memory reader memory read uh, so our time diagram is here which is a 3 register so total it will be 70 now let's take the another example and that is yeah ld 5000 yes at first of code fit 40 memory <coughs> read 3d that is for 00, zero. again memory read which is of 3d state for this now we have to understand the working of this instruction in this instruction it will load the value of 5000 <coughs> in yellow register and 5001 in yes register so in next task we have to perform again the memory read because we have to read the content of the 5000 and location which is of 3d state again memory read because we have to co copy we have to get the content of 5001 location inside the processor so we have to perform memory read. now we have already performed now we have completed our phase and decode is already performed in opcode phase process <coughs> now for execute part all the required value are inside the processor that is the data of the 5000 and the data of the 5001 and all the required register that is L and L. Both are present in the processor. So the execute tax will be performed by processor. And our machine cycle ends here. So it is it is a total 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 19, 11, 16 digit. Similarly, for SHLD, the value of L will be stored to 5000 and L will be stored to 5001 so first upcode phase which is a 4 digit a memory read suppose this is 5000 <coughs> 3d memory read 3d for this and this Now we have performed the memory read. Now the uh, 5000 is copied inside the processor. Now the L and S register are already inside the processor, but we have to copy the value of the L register to the 5000 location. So we have to perform memory write, which is also of 3D state. And again, we have to co copy the value of the S register to the 5001 location. For that we have to again perform memory write 3D. Total 4, 7, 10, 13, 16. So these are the instructions. Um, now again let's exam take example of simple instruction that is ADD B 
b. Now the work of this instruction is a gets the value of a plus b. At first, as usual, awkward phase 40. Now a register is inside the processor. B register is inside the processor. Now and the phase part is already completed because this is one byte instruction. We have phased upcode which is of one byte. Decode part is completed during this upcode phase. During this upcode phase. Now execution is done inside the processor because all the required registers are already inside the processor. So no memory read and write operation is required. So this is the um, final timing, final machine cycle of the add instruction. So it consists of 40 state. So we have to show only upcode phase. Other execution part will be inside the processor, which is done by processor. So there is no any memory read or write operation. So this must for today. I hope you liked the video about the timing diagram. If you found this video helpful, then please don't forget to like because your like will, will make me motivate to make other video. So till then keep learning. Thank you.